This is the Celeb Compound, and I'm Story Laurent. Maybe that's that big. A trainer, a friend of mine, Harley Pastanac, Harley, Harley Pastanac, when Lizzo loses 10 pounds and announces it, the bots, uh, that's a term for... Uh, people like it's like telemarketer call callers like on Instagram they attack her for losing weight because the media wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when it's actually unhealthy yes. let's get aside the fact of whether it's fashion and vogue which is not let's let's just or if someone thinks it's attractive to each his own it's actually clinically unhealthy and for people to to promote that um it's a it's demonic you know what can i ask you yeah. i've noticed this also yeah why do you think they would want to promote unhealthiness among the population it's a genocide of the black race they want to kill us in any way they can planned parenthood was made by margaret sanger a known eugenics with the KKK, and I believe that if we saw ourselves as more, if we saw ourselves as a people and not a race, then we would treat our people better. Now let's talk about Gabby and my good friend Lizzo. Lizzo works with my trainer, a friend of mine, Harley Pastat. Harley. This is story in a celeb compound. Now, first things first, y'all know I'm finna get off on this nigga. Flat out. Anyway, first off, nigga, don't call me your motherfucking friend. I ain't friends with nobody who don't accept what the fuck I'm doing. Now, if you, like you said, I'm working with your trainer, I'm getting healthy. Healthy has nothing to do with body size. Now, that's cl clinically proven. Has not, the smallest person could have high cholesterol, have diabetes, and everything else that a plus-size person have. But what we're not going to do and going to stop fucking doing, especially in the celeb compound, because of me, yep, I said it, is down in Lizzo because she enjoys her body. Now, if you don't want to see it, you can change it. If you don't like her music, you don't have to hear it. But one thing about Kanye, he's the worst fucking thing for any community. Black, white, or Asian. A motherfucker that don't stand on shit. He don't stand on shit. One minute is this. One minute is that. He talking about white lives matter at the same time. He talking about his family white and they trying to destroy him and all the shit they did to the black community and black men. But at the same time, you turn around and defend her and her family. Why the fuck would we listen to you? You a clown. And they using you for ratings. And I don't even see why people post Kanye West. I wouldn't even give a fuck what he said. Everything he said, he done said before. Everything he does is a fucking circle. That he, He's like a fucking rat stuck in a cage. He's like a hamster on the damn, on the, in a fucking ball. Everything he doing is going in circles and circles and circles. He just finds another topic to use the same shit on. All the way since, since, since rest in peace, Miss Don has been gone, he has lost it. And, and I'm sure everybody done tried to give him help. Kid Cuddy, everybody else done tried to be in his corner. Even the fucking crazy Kardashians done tried to help this motherfucker. But one thing we gonna do is stop promoting Kanye. He ain't good for the black community. He's nothing good for the white community. He's nothing good for a Democrat, a Republican, or nobody else. He don't stand on nothing. He don't stand behind nothing. He go off his personal feelings at the time. He contradicts himself every five minutes. So what, what, what the fuck? This like this, this what's wrong with niggas. It's like niggas in jail. You know, they read a few books. They know a few words and they know a, uh, a few things that is true. And then just ramble and put their personal feelings in the rest of the shit. That's how you come up with coats and shit. Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker just doing a bunch of talking and everybody just listening. He's a fucking clown. Fuck Kanye. Fuck anybody that got a problem with a, any woman. In a body. I don't care. Old, gay, straight, black, white.
If they good with them, let them be good with them. You figure out who you are. A lot of people are self-conscious, and that's the motherfucking problem. If you worried about yourself, you wouldn't be sitting up here looking like a clown. You're a billionaire, but you ain't got no heart, no love, and nobody wants you. So, well, who the problem? You know everything but can't fix you. That's the point. You know everything but can't fix you. Fuck Kanye and whatever the fuck he got going on. Even if he was right, it don't matter because he stands behind nothing. And I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to discuss this shit at the Celeb Compound. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And make sure you don't miss out any time I do commentary on these motherfuckers like this. See ya. City girls, period. City girls. It's a city girl summer, period. That's what.